Hey everyone, I'm Carson Hadlock and welcome to Carson Studios. In today's video, uh, we are going to be getting some different kind of random cool shots. So if you remember in a way that later video, I just kind of showed you guys some random practice shots that I've been doing just to like build up skills and practice and stuff. And today I'm going to be doing that. But I wanted to kind of show you guys how like setting up these shots and my thoughts on them and I'll show you things like composition, just the setup. Um, I got a list here, just a sec. <clears throat> camera setting yeah so we're going to be going around to i think it's like four different shots that we're going to set up and do things with them and i think it'll be a ton of fun so let's not waste any more time and get right into it all right so for our first shot we have uh i, I really wanted to make this shot with this stair rail uh right here and this stuff will actually move just in there. Uh, I don't think it'll be in shot, but I want to get one a bit like down here. But the uh, and the stair rail um, is uh, is like in focus, and then there's things moving in the background. I think that that is look really cool. Something else that could also be cool is if we take the post here and we cut off half of the frame of the post and only see half or something like that. So that's what I want to be accomplishing today or with this shot. <laughs> so let's take, um, okay. I just want to take a look at the stair rail like this. Uh, okay. Something like this. Ooh, that looks so good. Trying to decide if it looks better. Let's get a couple different shots. So if we take a look at the framing here, we have um all of these things are in this is uh technically uh this is like the main subject, but also could be considered the foreground because I want to do things like walking around in the shop. Maybe I slide across the floor. <laughs> or random stuff like that. So let's maybe get the same shot, but put the post in frame instead. All right. So this shot, something that is key is that we're not really using the rule of thirds here. This is not like something that's hugely applying because there's not supposed to be some sort of meaning behind this um, necessarily. It's just a cool shot. Um, but something that I do like is that the uh, actual characters and stuff for me, uh, was in the background, that I was not in focus um, at the start here. And I really like that because it adds a different effect, meaning that like other things have effects too. All right, so for the second shot, uh, I want to get some cool effect with foreground and background objects. So let me open up the shot. Um, okay, yeah, so we're gonna put this water bottle over by, uh, in the background here, uh, and I want the main subject to be the notebook right here, 
then I want something in the foreground. Like right there. Oh, that looks so good. So if we look here, we have all of these different layers. We have our foreground, our main subject, and our background. And it can add a lot of depth to that image so that when we focus on our background, our subject, and our foreground is too close. Um, man, I have a macro lens, but it only fits on my other lens, so we won't pull it out. But you can still get that cool effect because you're focusing on the subject here, but you can tell that it adds depth to that image because there's foreground and that water bottle in the background, uh, which is just, oh, that looks gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And look at that bokeh. Bokeh's like when you zoom out of something like that has light or something, and if it's like a circle, and this, Mac, this prime lens has amazing bokeh, it's just, man, that lens is just gorgeous. <laughs> so great. And so we kind of get that really cool little feel to, um, and it adds depth to that image because there is that foreground, background, and then the subject. All right, so lastly, I thought that it would be really cool to get a shot of like one of those shots that's like straight under this basket and the ball comes down. And we're gonna hope we don't like destroy our lens doing this. I don't think we will, but I mean, yes, you never know. All right, so we want to have it looking up. Um, let's bring is probably on the bottom of the net. I think that looks good. So basically composition wise, we have the net and stuff in the center of the frame because that is our main focus. And since it's just an inanimate object, it doesn't have like huge meaning. But since this shot is going to have the basketball actually be made, then it does have some meaning uh, to it because since the ball is being made, that is a power, that could be a powerful moment. So you want to center um, the subject, which would be the basketball. So here we go. We're just gonna lightly toss it in and hopefully not break the camera. Whew. It's, it's okay, it's only one. And boom. There we go. I'd say we get one more, just in case that one was like crappy, but... Ooh, actually, it could be cool. Let's actually do that. We are going to change the frame rate so that when I record, I could slow this down. So then it could be like a slow-mo thing. Voila! And there we go. We have gotten a couple different really cool shots um, and we've kind of broken them down, which I hope has been pretty cool.
And there you go, you guys. Those were those cool shots that we set up. I hope you guys learned something and uh, took something out. Maybe ins I ins maybe you could take some sort of inspiration from that uh, to help with your guys' shots to make them even better. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.